Take a breath. Now close your eyes. Slowly inhale. Breathe in positive energy. Breathe out negative thoughts. Take full breaths from your diaphragm. Let it out slowly through your mouth. Empty your lungs completely. First, we'll start with a serenity prayer. Today's reading from the 24 Hours a Day book, a share, then the reading again in case you got distracted. Carpe the diem. Enjoy. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. Consider, the whole idea is to have a spiritual awakening. August 1st, thought for the day. The Alcoholics Anonymous program has borrowed from medicine, psychiatry, and religion. It has taken from these what it wanted and combined them into the program, which it considers best suited to the alcoholic mind and which will best help the alcoholic to recover. The results have been very satisfactory. We do not try to improve on the AA program. Its value has been proved by the success it has had in helping thousands of alcoholics to recover. It has everything we alcoholics need to arrest our illness. Do I try to follow the AA program just as it is? Meditation for the day. You should strive for a union between your purposes in life and the purposes of the divine principle directing the universe. There is no bond of union on earth to compare with the union between a human soul and God. Priceless beyond all earth's rewards is that union. In merging your heart and mind with the heart and mind of the higher power, a oneness of purpose results which only those who experience it can even dimly realize. That oneness of purpose puts you in harmony with God and with all others who are trying to do His will. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may become attuned to the will of God. I pray that I may be in harmony with the music of the spheres. Bill and Bob were entrepreneurial in putting together the program of Alcoholics Anonymous. They took mainly from the Oxford groups and the St. James Bible, combined with practical experience from Dr. Silkworth and Dr. Jung. Reading the doctor's opinion in the big book helps us understand the hopelessness that was alcoholism in the early 1900s and before. Carl Jung said of an alcoholic under his care, In the doctor's judgment, he was utterly hopeless. He could never again regain his position in society and would have to place himself under lock and key or hire a bodyguard if he expected to live long. That was a great physician's opinion. You have the mind of a chronic alcoholic, he said. I have never seen one single case recover where that state of mind existed to the extent that it does in you. Our friend felt as though the gates of hell had closed on him with a clang. He said to the doctor, Is there no exception? Yes, replied the doctor, there is. Exceptions to cases such as yours have been occurring since early times. Here and there, once in a while, alcoholics have had what are called vital spiritual experiences. To me, these occurrences are phenomena. They appear to be in the nature of huge emotional displacements and rearrangements. Ideas, emotions, and attitudes, which were once the guiding forces of the lives of these men, are suddenly cast to one side. And a completely new set of conceptions and motives begin to dominate them. In fact, I have been trying to produce some such emotional rearrangements within you. With many individuals, the methods which I employed are successful but I have never been successful with an alcoholic of your description. Bill and Bob, being hopeless themselves, they were divinely inspired to make service to others, passing it on, if you will, paying it forward as a vital component of staying sober and alive. The first 164 pages of the big book is the program. 
the basic text of how to stay sober via a spiritual awakening, the design for living. By aligning our will with our understanding of our higher power's will, we are unselfish and passionate about helping others because it innately drives us closer to our higher power, which we desire more than anything. The drink obsession has been removed. A fellowship of like-minded, sober people forms around us. We are part of a larger, healthy community that feels the presence of our spirit of the universe flowing through us. Life is unimaginably better now, and each day is an epic adventure in how we can be of service to others. Consider, the whole idea is to have a spiritual awakening. August 1st, Thought for the Day. The Alcoholics Anonymous program has borrowed from medicine, psychiatry, and religion. It has taken from these what it wanted and combined them into the program, which it considers best suited to the alcoholic mind and which will best help the alcoholic to recover. The results have been very satisfactory. We do not try to improve on the AA program. Its value has been proved by the success it has had in helping thousands of alcoholics to recover. It has everything we alcoholics need to arrest our illness. Do I try to follow the AA program just as it is? Meditation for the day. You should strive for a union between your purposes in life and the purposes of the divine principle directing the universe. There is no bond of union on earth to compare with the union between a human soul and God. Priceless beyond all earth's rewards is that union. In merging your heart and mind with the heart and mind of the higher power, a oneness of purpose results, which only those who experience it can even dimly realize. That oneness of purpose puts you in harmony with God and with all others who are trying to do His will. Prayer for the Day I pray that I may become attuned to the will of God. I pray that I may be in harmony with the music of the spheres. Carpe the diem, boys and girls. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.